In our previous videos, we have seen how gas is extracted and how it is transported by gas carriers using liquefaction and regasification processes. In this video, we will see what gas pipelines are, ducts used to transport natural or artificial gas from the production facility to consumers. When natural gas is extracted from the reservoirs and treated to remove substances that give it negative characteristics for transport, distribution, quality, and safety, it has to be inserted into pipelines, which are successions of steel pipes. The total length of pipelines around the world amounts to approximately 1 million kilometers, or 622,000 miles, more than 25 times the circumference of the Earth, and most of them are gas pipelines for the transport of natural gas, consisting primarily of methanes. In fact, they are also called methane pipelines. Before choosing where to place a pipeline, in-depth geological studies are carried out to try to find the geology of the ground or seabed in order not to subject the pipeline to risks due to earthquakes, landslides, sea currents, excessively high pressures due to the depth, ice, changing temperatures, etc. So as to preserve the structure over the decades, but also to safeguard the environment, because methane, when dispersed into the atmosphere, is a gas which causes the greenhouse effect dozens of times more than carbon dioxide. The initial diameter of a pipeline can be as much as 1,400 millimeters, or 55 inches, then it becomes tighter gradually. Their inner surface is polished, so as to have a low internal friction coefficient as the gas passes through, while externally they are covered with a special anti-corrosion and shock-resistant coating. Pipelines are very resistant. In fact, gas can be transported by compressing it up to 70 bar, in the case of land pipelines, and up to 100 bar in the case of submarine pipelines. This process is obtained by special machines called compressors. The gases move into a gaseous state, unlike LNG ships that support LNG, i.e. liquefied natural gas, at minus 163 degrees Celsius or minus 261 degrees Fahrenheit and it is pushed by a compressor station at the beginning of the pipeline, and if necessary, also by several intermediate compressor stations. These are important structures, both in size and complexity, consisting essentially of gas turbines driving centrifugal compressors. The gas turbine is an internal combustion engine, part of the extracted methane as fuel. It is initially composed of an axial compressor, it includes rotors, blades that rotate together with the shaft, and stators, vein discs, fixed to the frame. They create various stages, which gradually increase the pressure of the incoming air. In the combustion chamber, the methane is added to the air, and the mixture burns. The large expansion of hot gases that is generated to make the two turbines turn, one connected to the compressor shaft to turn its rotors, and another separated on a second shaft, now runs a multi-stage centrifugal compressor connected to the pipeline. The multi-stage centrifugal compressor is a turbo machine where several bladed discs called impellers placed in rapid action supply energy to the gas, which increases its pressure due to the centrifugal force. In this way, the methane is pushed into the pipeline and can begin its journey. Pipelines are usually placed at ground level, in desert and sandy areas, or where the ground is too hard to dig because of ice, or they are placed on the seabed. In this case, they are called submarine pipelines. In urban areas, on the other hand, they are buried about one meter or three feet below the surface. Pipelines must be consistently monitored and protected, and that is why maintenance is very important. The most common phenomena that can occur are corrosion and buildup of deposits, which can cause pipeline deterioration and reduced flow velocity. To ensure the pipeline integrity, 
Cleaning pigs are used to remove deposits, and then smart pigs with smart sensors are used to inspect the interior of the pipeline to detect defects. Usually the pig, once inserted into the pipeline, is pushed by the moving gas itself. Proceeding through the pipeline, the cleaning pig pushes all waste to the end of the pipeline and they are removed together. Pipelines are a safe and successful method for transporting oil and gas products. And it is a cheaper method than transporting by gas carriers or rail, and it offers greater capacity at the same time. If you found this video useful, let us know by leaving a like and a comment. You can also share it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please visit our website, jawscompany.com, to learn more about our upcoming projects.